So in what should be a surprise to absolutely no one, Joe Biden also happens to have a really antiquated stance on video games. Like Donald Trump, he believes that they don't just make people more violent, but that they literally train people how to kill. Not making this up, wish I were. So as Holly Corrigan of IGN reports, Joe Biden, the former vice president and 2020 candidate for the president of the United States, has shared some harsh thoughts on Silicon Valley game developers, as reported in a wide-reaching interview with the New York Times. When asked about the Obama administration's legacy on Silicon Valley regulation, Biden talks about meeting with leaders in Silicon Valley to discuss intellectual property rights and describes interacting with an unspecified game developer as, quote, one of the little creeps who make games that, quote, teach you how to kill people. Quote, at one point, one of the little creeps sitting around that table who was a multi close to a billionaire who told me he was an artist because he was able to come up with games to teach you how to kill people, you know, the said Biden. The reporter interrupted Biden at this point to clarify he was talking about video games to which he agrees. The New York Times did not appear to press Biden on specifying which game developers he met with or to elaborate further on his thoughts. Biden's views on violent video games aren't surprising. Back in 2013, when he was as vice president, he vocally saw no legal problem taxing violent media. That year, the Gaming Association even published an open letter asking him to look at studies suggesting there's no link between violence and video games. Now, I had to read this multiple times because it seemed like Joe Biden was describing an anecdote where a game developer said that he was an artist specifically because he made games that train people how to kill. Now, that doesn't make sense to me, and I don't even believe that story, but reading it again, I realized that that was Joe Biden supplementing that story with his own commentary. So what probably actually happened was he met with a game developer who said that, you know, they view their video games as art, and Joe Biden was kind of scoffing at that notion in his own head uh, by saying, what, you think it's art because you train people how to kill? Um, so he needs to be more clear. He needs to be more clear, and it shows you why he's having issues with um, people misinterpreting what he's saying. He is currently, you know, in the process of the spat with Bernie Sanders people because he claims that they doctored a video of him where he supposedly agrees with Paul Ryan about wanting to cut Social Security. Now, when I first saw that video, it did seem like he was, in fact, agreeing with the notion that um, we should cut Social Security. In that same video, he does say we should make adjustments, but I guess that he wasn't agreeing with Paul Ryan, but was mocking Paul Ryan. It just goes to show you that there's going to be issues because Joe Biden doesn't know how to communicate properly. So he is clearly in cognitive decline. I'm trying to be as polite as I possibly can here in describing him. And he has to be more articulate. He has to be. Because you basically just describe a situation where it seemed like you're saying some video game, game developer was like, yo, dude, I'm an artist because I like train people how to kill, bro. I mean, that's not the situation at all. So he needs to be more clear. Now, getting to the substance of this story, if he just said, look, there are many problems with the video game industry and he left it there, I would have no problem with that because I agree. I think the video game industry, it doesn't treat workers kindly. There's a lack of uh, unionization, right? There is a lot of exploitative practices, uh, abusive employees, crunch times and whatnot. That's unacceptable. And when it comes to, you know, their anti-consumerism, there's predatory practices such as loot boxes that are abundant now. EA is, an, is a company that should be regulated into oblivion because they constantly, they prey on customers, basically. Um, there's DLC packs that they basically remove from games so they can sell it back to customers, right? When it should have been part of the original game. So there's a lot of issues with the video game industry. But is it the case that they are training people to be violent and literally kill? Obviously, no. That's not the case. That is not a position that even makes sense given the studies and what they say. Study after study has shown that there is no link to violent video games and increased aggression in teenagers. And they don't cause real-world violence, contrary to popular belief. And even though increased exposure to video games may make people more desensitized to violent imagery, that doesn't necessarily mean that people will go out and do violence. Now, studies also show that video games can reduce stress. And on top of that, researchers find that there are cognitive benefits to playing video games. So, no. Violent video games do not lead to violence, and they don't teach people how to kill, certainly. This is something that out-of-touch idiots 
like to say. And these are the people who don't even know about nuance. Like they don't even know that there are games like Tetris that exist, right? They just think that the only video games that are out there are Grand Theft Auto and Call of Duty, these violent video games, and uh, that's it. But you want to know what does cause real world violence, Joe Biden? When you vote for wars like the Iraq war, for example. So it's just an idiotic thing to say. And he came from the administration that had a literal kill list. Like Obama had a kill list. And you're, you're concerned about violence now all of a sudden? The glorification of violence is something that the United States government does. And, you know, on top of that, Joe Biden is trying to uh, run against Donald Trump. But this is another area where he agrees with Donald Trump, who blamed violent video games for a mass shooting. This is what Trump said recently. We must stop the glorification of violence in our society. This includes the gruesome and grisly video games that are now commonplace. It is too easy today for troubled youth to surround themselves with a culture that celebrates violence. We must stop or substantially reduce this, and it has to begin immediately. So he sounds just like Joe Biden. So, um, you know what? I'm sick and tired of politicians using video games as a scapegoat for society's problems. I'm just sick and tired of scapegoating, generally speaking. Uh, Joe Biden is so out of touch, it is painful. And this shouldn't surprise anyone that he has this stance. In fact, back in 2008, when I was going to enthusiastically vote for Obama and did, one of the issues with Joe Biden that I had, and the issue that I had with Obama choosing Joe Biden as the nominee was his stance on video games. He also has a history of making comments about video games that, uh, you know, imply that they lead people to be more violent. And I've always been a gamer. Gamers rise up, and we may after this. But, um, yeah, you know, it's just, it's incredibly irritating, and this is why, if you are a gamer, if you are a young person who hears Joe Biden saying this, I need you to understand that this is someone who might win. Joe Biden can win. So you have a chance of stopping this idiot who wants to demonize your hobby and all you have to do is vote for Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is in second place. He has the best shot at beating Joe Biden and beating Donald Trump. So, I mean, if this makes you angry, then it should encourage you to support someone like Bernie Sanders who has not made statements like this. And if he has, I would disagree with them. But to my knowledge, Bernie Sanders doesn't scapegoat anything. He looks at these issues and he tries to find the real underlying causes and doesn't just use bombastic rhetoric and shoot off the hip and just like pull things out of his ass, right? That's what Joe Biden is doing here. So, I mean, there's issues with Silicon Valley and a lack of regulation. The video game industry has a ton of issues. If you listen to Jim Sterling on YouTube, he talks about how capitalism has negatively influenced video games and it's basically ruining the video game industry. But is the video game industry the reason why there is violence in America and around the world? No, absolutely not. But um, I'm honestly not surprised that Joe Biden said this. And really, nobody should be surprised at this point because Joe Biden has put his foot in his mouth now approximately 153,000 times throughout the course of this race. And I'm sure he's going to say uh, four to five more out of touch things just within the next hour because that's, you know, the rate that we're going. So it's just it's stupid. Um, it's idiotic. And Joe Biden is just he's so out of touch he shouldn't be this close to victory. He should be permanently delegitimized. But the fact that he even has a shot shows that we're in pretty bad shape in America.